Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to register with Capasso? Welcome to this episode where I plan on showing you exactly how to do that. Cue the intro! What's up? It's Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I help my fellow South African musicians improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing. In this video, I plan on showing you exactly how to register yourself and your music with Capasso. I'm heading over to my PC to show you a step-by-step -step on how to do this on their online form. What's up? So before we start going, there's three things that you have to make sure that you've got covered. That's your bank, proof of bank. You have to get your ID scanned and certified and then have a PDF of it. And thirdly, there's a hundred rand that you have to send to Capasso. You get these details on the website. So I'm just gonna go straight to their website. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. So let me type Capasso. And the website is capasso.cedo.za. So let's click on there. And then there's a tab that's written membership. You click on membership once. Now Capasso, you can register as a publisher or as a composer. If you're an independent musician, I suggest you just go to composer registration because if you're a publisher, you have to have all the other CCs and etc. registered business, etc. So independent musician, composer registration. Click on there. There's two ways to register under Capasso. It's either you use the hard copy, scan it, and then you email it to them, or you do it directly on the website. I strongly suggest you use the website because it is quicker to register this way. Right at the top, there are four, five, six points that you must read through to understand. And please note that membership application process is only complete once your annual membership fee is received. So you have to pay 100 Rand per year. So let's just go scroll down to find the banking details. The banking details for Capasa are right at the bottom. So you go to First National Bank and you fill out their deposit forms. Or you go to the teller and then you give them the 100 Rand and then you give them these details. And it's very important also that you read the number three, your full name and surname is what you put in on your uh, reference on the deposit slip. Very important. So let's go with the personal details. Title is who you are, Mr, Mrs, etc. So I'm Mr. Um, first name, I'm gonna put skill. I'm gonna put music. That's my surname. Pseudonym is what you call yourself on all platforms. So this is what I call myself Skill Music SA on all these platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, etc. So that's the pseudonym I'm gonna put in here. And then I'm also Skill Music SA. That's my Twitter handle, my face, my Facebook handle is also Skill Music SA. And then for your ID number, if you're a South African uh, resident, you put in your ID number. Or if you are a foreign national, you can use your passport number. I'm just going to put in my 13-digit number. That starts with a 9, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, as an ID number. And then for passport, I'm just going to put in another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then it's very important that you fill out where the stars are. So date of birth, I'm just going to make this 1990 or something. Place of birth, you don't have to fill it in, but I'm gonna fill it in for simplicity's sake. So I'm gonna say East London, that's where I'm from. And then nationality, South Africa. They say gender is important because it's probably for statistic purposes. So I'm gonna say male. Home language is Tosa. And then address, I'm gonna leave empty, but if you want to, you can fill that out. Uh, I'm not gonna fill that in because I don't want stalkers. <laughs> and then your um, cell number, you go, oh wait, that's my cell number. It filled out my address because I'm using Google, but yeah, this is my work address, it's okay. Additional number, you can put in your work number over here, I'm going to leave that out, fax number, I'm going to leave out, but email is very important, so I'm going to put in info at skillmusicsa.com. Are you a member of any other Red Rights Administration organizations? So I'm a member of Samro, member of Risa, member of Sampra. I strongly suggest that you do research on all five of these to realize if you think it's worth it for you to sign up. I did these three because I thought it was very imperative for me, but if not for you, not for you. But I strongly suggest you definitely have to have Sambro 
you should have Sampra because those are different royalties. And Risa, to get your ISRC codes, you should also do Risa. Any other information? Nothing. Now remember in the beginning of the video, I told you that you must have your ID scanned and certified. You click on upload as a PDF and then you just post that up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this file for now. It's gonna show you that it's uploading. Please wait. While it's uploading, you could move on. And then it shows you what file is uploaded. Your bank confirmations also start so it's very important that you have the bank confirmation. A bank confirmation letter, this proves that this is your bank account. So I know at APSA, you can go in and ask them directly, or you can use the online platform to get the bank account confirmation letter. I think FMB also has that option. So banking details, you have to do this. So your bank would be, in my case, would be APSA. Branch code 62005. Account holder, I'm just gonna say skill. And then account number. And then the type of account, so check account, savings account, etc. And then this is attached proof of payment. It's very important that you attach the proof of payment, the 100 Rand that you've given to the password, it can be. So it's gonna look similar to this, so I'm not gonna add a file again. And here are the banking details. Are you a published composer? So if you are, if so, please state your, the name of your publisher slash publishers. So this is uh, to verify which publishers you are registered with. I'm not going to fill that out because I don't want to keep, I'm just going to say skill music. Let's say. Pub. I'm not a publisher. I'm just putting it in there just because I want to put something in there. Music types. So mu mood music or library music. This is usually if you've submitted your music to a publisher to send it through or if you've been doing it yourself. Uh, I've been doing that. Commission music, I'm not gonna put that in because none of my music is commissioned. And the commercial music, this is the music that I use for commercials or music that I put on common um, platforms such as iTunes, etc. If you're a commissioned writer, I'm not gonna write anything there because I'm not a commissioned writer. And then for your next second, I'm gonna leave all this out because it's fairly similar to above but you're the name next of kin is the person that you want if you were to die to get your royalties so over here you just say brother relationship to you brother mother sister wife girlfriend etc name must be the first name last name and then address you don't have to i'm not going to fill anything in the address because you don't have to <laughs> but preferably fill in the address so they have another way of communicating with them i just don't want to fill it in now and then cell number, the cell number of the person. So, oh, no, 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 no. Additional number, this is the work number. And then an email address. So, yeah, you're not going to put in the email address. You upload it. If you have a will or testament, you upload it. And then you should be done. Right at the bottom where it says terms and conditions. Click on the tick. I hereby, as a composer, apply to be admitted as a composer, member of, of Capasso. If admitted, I agree to abide by Capasso membership rules. You can click on here to read the membership rules, but I'm not going to. And then once you're done, you click on submit and that's it. That concludes this episode on how to register yourself with Capasso. I hope you found it very easy. And if you found this video useful, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell next to it. And until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan.